If you teach French or Spanish, either in a class or one-to-one -one tuition, then your students can use Quizic to practice between your lessons without you having to do anything special at all. You can just recommend it to them. But Quizbot will probably have a different idea about what they need to work on. So if you want to make sure that they practice the topics you want them to perfect, you can easily create homework sets using Quizic for them to work on. And it's literally as easy as creating a list of the things that you want them to practice. You you send them the list and let Quizit do the rest. If you're also using the study groups feature, which is optional, you'll also be able to see if they did their homework, how they got on in time for your next lesson, without having to mark a thing. You do need a Quizic account to set homework, which is free to set up. You can skip the level test if you're a teacher, but I think it's worth taking the test and making a few mistakes just like one of your students, and then you'll have a better idea of how Quizic will work for them. When you log in, you'll see your dashboard. The dashboard looks exactly the same for teachers as it does for students. And if you look at the top right, the feature we're going to be using is called the notebook. When you first access it, this will be empty. And what we're going to do is add a list of topics to this now using the library. The Quizic library organizes all of Quizic's lessons in a few different ways to make finding them easier. If you're teaching at a particular level, then you can find content organised by the standard CEFA levels on the left. If you're not quite sure of the level, but you know the grammar area, then you can also see the lessons organised that way. The glossary gives you a way to find content using much more specific terms, for example, possessive adjectives or the name of a specific tense. There's a search function too, but in fact, you can just use Google to find Quizic content. If you type Quizic French or Quizic Spanish into Google, followed by some keywords like this, then usually you'll find the content that's most appropriate to what you want. Once you've found a lesson, you can usually navigate to related content by using the tags at the top of the lesson. These tags correspond to entries in the grammar glossary. So for example, if you click on the name of the tense, you'll then see a page which lists all of the lessons that come under that tense.